to the last four. The penultimate round in this fine competition. The two teams ahead of us here have their eyes firmly fixed on the grand prize. They both believe it is within their compass. Having come this far, they're entitled to believe that. The competition has provided us with a lot of drama up to this point. And I'm sure there is plenty more to come before it reaches its ultimate climax. Terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio Portugal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. So it's a straight shootout for the final, and that's what we're going to see. There's no region you would rather be. Well, one of the occasions of the calendar, and in an atmosphere to match. We may well see a high octane contest where both really look to test respective defences. I sincerely hope we avoid the alternative which is a potential game of, of chess. Nobody wants that. It deserves much more. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Felipe Luis. He always puts in a massive shift, Peter. He chases lost causes, never seems to give up on anything. He's been known to keep some of the world's best wingers in his pocket, but there's more to his game than defending. He times those overlapping runs to perfection. Gabriel! Everton. Puka. Morega. Good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from the forward who wants to help out his defence. I think, you know, any good throws for goal. Goal! El Hilal! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Al-Hilal have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. Everton, quick glance at goal. Flamengo are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. Well, it can be very hard to regroup and work your way back into the match, but they've got time. Cuellar plays it out to the flank. And it's Icaro. Vieto. Cuellar, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Pedro. Now oh, it's Gabriel. It's Pedro! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. And here's it, Carlo. It's a loose ball. Pedro. Now it's Gabriel. 
Chance to break. Now can he shoot a goal? Oh, that is rather wayward. Flamengo just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Vidal, forward it goes. And out to safety. And it's been taken straight back. And it's Vieto. And here's a goal. Out to the right. Very well to intervene. Felipe. Varela. Up towards the front line. to get it forward quickly. And here's Pedro. Felipe. He's left his man. Shapes to shoot! A great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Flamengo are still behind as we reach out for half time. Marega. And here's it, Carlo. Made into space out wide. And he just whacks it away. Plays it out to the flank. Gabriel Barbosa battles to win it back. Varela. Pulga. There will be one minute out to the time. left. It goes. Felipe Luis looks to dink on it. Knocks it away. Vidal tries lifting it over. Half time in the semi final. So there you have it. A close sport half of football, but what it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that needs raising at half time because in truth they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pet talk works, we may see a very different side set at half. We need to. 
coming on the field. Just back from your break. You've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. It seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. For going for goal! And here's the chance to counter. He's brushed off the ball there. David Luiz. Felipe. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. And here's Icaro. Vieto. Tip behind for a corner kick. Good enough. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. <laughs> Hoists it forward. Gets away from his opponents. Still chasing the game, trailing by one. It will be a throw in. He's looked long this time. Varela looking to get on the end of this. were asked but he's given the answers Everton it's one goal Flamengo Flamengo back on level terms yeah, looking back at that that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish I thought it was a stunning stunning breakaway has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Good challenge, excellent challenge. Everton. Gabriel. He's there to receive it. It's it back. Very good battle there, terrific to watch. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Felipe Luis goes on a charge down the left. Helps available out wide. Enrique hits it! Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Has he found his man? Varela, and it's played forward, and he's straight offside. Time for a change in personnel. Substitution for Flamengo. Number two. Coming on to replace him is... 
Number six. And they've been caught out here. A goal. Has a goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Played it short. Towering header! Hit with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. And it's Vieto. Now, surely! Managed to get it away. He's gone for it! Another chance! This could fall anywhere. Well, they've broken out here, and this could be the moment. Puka. Oh, good interception. Well played, he saw that coming. And here's a goal. It's come from... And the finish! And somehow he managed to miss it. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead there. A real chance missed. Pulka. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Everton looks to get on the end of this. Vieto. 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 Shoots! Changes on both sides, actually. Two Coming changes being made right now. Number 14. Julian Vieto plays it back. Gets on the end of it. Shoots! Diodas Keita is there, and he can get that clear. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Everton. That's a promising. Has a pop! Goal! Fleming goal! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. That was easy. Almost too easy. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and. It all came good. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished.
Flamengo take the lead. That just goes to underline why they're in this position. The ability to grind out results when things aren't quite going to plan. The signs of a top team. But with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box. If it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Flamengo claiming a corner, and the referee concurs. And it's been taken short. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. And it's played forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Four added minutes has been indicated. Could cross it here. In once more. Pulka. Made sure that that won't get through. Moriga desperately wants to get on the end of this. And in time is up. And there goes the whistle. Flamengo have done it. Into the final, and they can taste glory now. No reflections then, Jim. Well, they passed that test in flying colours, and they have every reason to believe that they can go all the way now.